What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. So in today's video we have some clarifications about a vulnerability published by Google Project Zero because a new link has surfaced a couple of hours ago and you have been tagging me into that post. This video is brought to you by Anytrans, a software that allows you to drag and drop files directly from your computer to your device. It's a much better alternative to iTunes and can handle a lot of backup and stuff like that. Check it out in the link below. So Project Zero bugs posted this year, CVE 2021-1782, iOS in the wild vulnerability in vouchers and then Ian Beer also posted this here about the same vulnerability and people have been tagging me as you can see from here and from here into these because probably they do not understand what these are. This is not going to be a long video because the clarification is pretty easy. This is an older vulnerability. So it appears that Ian Beer did indeed post it a couple of hours ago and they said quote continuing my look back at interesting vulnerabilities from last year here are some edited notes from my analysis of CVE 2021-1782. A rather subtle race condition vulnerability in the XNU voucher subsystem found exploited in the wild last January. So this is an older vulnerability. Many people did not check out the write-up itself to see exactly whether this is old or not, but this is an older vulnerability as you can see from here, which was patched in 14.4. Now if you go here on iDeviceCentral.com, my website, you go to iOS signing status, and of course you select any device, for example iPhone 10R, you can see that this is definitely not new. iOS 14.3 and 14.4 were signed a long, long time ago. We even have jailbreaks for those versions via Uncover and even via Taurine. So this is indeed an older vulnerability. They just took another look at it, you know, re-edited stuff. And yes, it says in here that it's been posted on April 14, 2022, which is right now, today. So this whole article was posted today. And that's probably the reason some people believed it was a brand new kernel vulnerability. But in fact, it's not. This one is the same as this one over here and it has been patched a long time ago on 14.4. Right now for 15.4.1 and 15.5 beta, which are currently the latest signed versions, there is no available vulnerability. And for the 15.3.1, 15.3, 15.2.1, 15.2 and stuff like that, there are available vulnerabilities. So please wait patiently. Taurine is being updated for 15.1.1 and lower. And for the uncover, we don't know yet. But this vulnerability ain't it. This one is an older vulnerability even though the write-up for it was posted today. So yes, write-up is new, vulnerability is old. I can definitely understand why this was confusing for the people who tagged me because it did look like it's something new from Ian Beer, but it's not. I hope this clarifies things. Thank you for watching. Stay patient for the new jailbreak and peace out.